Okay, here we go. As one Crookshank, your one and only Moose Swiftly speaker checking in for a daily Moose Swiftly thought, giving your perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else. All right. Not the first, won't be the last day in which I didn't hit my goal today. Didn't hit my goal in terms of mileage. And like I said, it's not the first time this has happened. The important thing, the important thing is that you know why, that I know why. All right, and that's, that's really what today's Move Swiftly Thought is all about. It's not about never failing. It's not about never getting to your goal. It's about when you don't get to your goal, when you don't reach your goal that day, you know specifically why. All right, not the first time I made this mistake, but you know, again, I made it again today because shit happens, right? So normally what I do, actually I'll just run you down what I do before I, I start my runs. Normally what I do is I go grab some coffee, I go right to a 7-Eleven, I grab some coffee, and I grab two donuts, two do oh, not two donuts, <laughs> obviously not two donuts, right? But two bananas. <laughs> That's how tired I am, I'm, I'm thinking about fucking donuts. But anyway, <laughs> I grab two bananas, I grab two bananas because normally they're two for a dollar. So I knock out those two bananas and you know I hit that 12 mile run back to back knock it out today I actually only did 10 miles and these 10 miles was at a really really low pace I was really struggling like my legs actually just gave out I was completely out of gas right I did 10 miles yesterday tried to do 12 miles today and I was completely out of gas anyway I get to the 7-eleven and all the bananas are rotten all of them just fucking rotten I couldn't I could I mean all every last one of them you could tell that they didn't refill you know I guess it's because I'm there so early in the morning they didn't refill and stock the shelves with some fresh bananas so I had to settle for a granola bar. So I buy the granola bar with my coffee and I'm drinking my coffee. How it is, I usually drink my coffee and I usually eat my two bananas. So I said, fuck it, you know, I'm gonna just drink the coffee and eat this granola bar. And the minute I finish my coffee, I just go straight to the gym. It completely slips my mind. I swear it completely slips my mind to eat the granola bar. So. I'm feeling good. I lifted today. I lifted, but today's one of the days in which I lift before I run. Did a couple upper body things, did some abs, got a little stretch in, and then I attempted my 12 miles. And it didn't hit me until around mile eight. I'm like, oh shit. Because I, I, I was feeling it, you know, I was feeling it. I was like, man, what's, what's up with me today? I'm feeling kind of sluggish. And it didn't hit me until mile eight that I realized, oh shit, I forgot to eat the granola bar. <laughs> I forgot to eat it. So. I'm like, you know, fuck it, I gotta thug it out. You know, I ain't, I ain't gonna be no pussy, I ain't gonna be no bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this thing out. So I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I mean, I wanted to stop literally at mile seven, I swear. I wanted to stop at mile seven, but I threw on some of that God did with Jay-Z, DJ Khaled, Lil Weezy. I think Ross, is, Ross went on that track too. <laughs> and it took me from mile eight to mile 10. And by the time I got to mile 10, I just cut it. I just cut it, man. I couldn't, couldn't take any more. And I've been told, I've been told, I've been doing too many miles as it is. And I'm seeing now I'm three months away from the full marathon. It's time to start thinking about recovery, making sure my legs are under me, making sure I don't get myself too hurt, make sure I get to race day. One of the things actually today, the article that comes out today on makeitmove.com, as I'm talking about the marathon mindset, when we're talking about, uh, I referenced the book, Hanton's Marathon Method and shout out to Dave. Dave, Dave recommended that I read it. <clears throat> and one of the main takeaways from that book was, you know, make sure your adrenaline doesn't get the best of you and make sure you make it to race day 100% healthy. That's really the challenge because the training to run a marathon is so absolutely treacherous. It's a lot. <laughs> so making it to race day in perfect health is half the battle. All right. So just something to think about as you're going about your day-to-day -day life and you may have some responsibilities or a goal or something that you set for the day and it just doesn't happen. You know, you don't have the tools like I did. I didn't eat the right way. My last meal was actually about 12 hours ago and there's no way that I'm going to run 12 miles after not eating for 12 hours. You know, that's just, that's just not even, <laughs> even I can't do that, right? So take my struggles, take my mistake use it to your advantage use it to something in which you can do to make yourself better and make yourself a little more valuable to your organization and to your family to whatever it is you're passionate about all right main website to check out like i mentioned before make your move.com that's m-a-k-e-y-a-m-o-v-e.com 
one-stop shop for all your teamwork and your self-development needs. As one Crookshank, your one and only move swiftly speaker checking out. You guys continue to move swiftly. We will talk more soon.